All right, hello, this is me again with another video. This is Kelly, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you the, my top five recommendations of cute, nice dinner places that you can go to, okay, that you actually must see when you come to Burundi. Okay, now hear me out. I've been here for a minute. I've been here for a minute. I've lived here my entire life, apart from a few years when I wasn't here. So I, just to say that I am trustworthy. So I, I will have all the places written down below in the description, uh, in the description box. However, I will not make you wait any further. This is going to be more like the uh, kind of classy dinner. A little bit on the pricier side but i have another video for chip thrills that you also must absolutely try if you are here or if you're coming for the holidays or if it's the first time you visit burundi just like i got you for both more affordable and a little bit more on the um, nice and classy okay i got you for everything if I forget anything or if you want to debate, first of all, why are you debating me? Anywho, you can always leave your opinion. <laughs> you can always leave your, your, I mean, your own recommendations in the comment section. Or if you have like experiences there in the places that I've, I will just mention, if you've went there and you didn't like or you did like just leave it in the comments i mean somebody can use it if they're coming to burundi they'll probably check the comment section here and be like you know what i think that place is worth trying so without further ado let's get into the actual recommendations okay first of all i will take one out of the um, out of the ranking because you will say that i am biased which is flash of course I understand why you think I'm biased and yes I'll take it out of the list but you know Splash is a nice place to go to uh, specifically with your family so I will put that on the side and do an unbiased in your opinion uh, video on this uh, um, an unbiased ranking okay so I will first before getting into the five I will give like um, honorable mention and the honorable mention here is going to be Kedzamiya. Kedzamiya is a place in Rohiro where they, they always have something new. On their menu, there's just always something new. And I love that about it. It's like, it's either like they do uh, any place in the world cuisine mixed with French. So it's always, you, you know you're always going to like something there. Uh, why is it in the honorable mention and not on the list is because I think it's definitely more some a place of um, where you would go in the in the daytime and it's um, it's it's not giving like vibes classy you want to go with like your girlfriend or your boyfriend or I don't know mm no it's not it's not that but the food is good the decor is okay but you know the food is worth it that's why it deserves an honorable mention here now at number five i am going to say you can always debate me number five is going to be um it's actually not dinner it's going to be brunch if you are in burundi you absolutely have to do hoka's golf brunch hoka golf's brunch is c'est la base okay i'm starting to speak french that's how excited i am about it it's good that's all i have to say it's good it's full, it's full of everything i don't think there is a place in burundi that that can match their brunch or their breakfast not even their breakfast because their breakfast is already that good but brunch is the next level. That's why I'm like, you must. If you want to like save your, I mean, I don't know, you're on a budget or it's the end of the, the, your holidays and you're like, mm, what is the last thing I would try? Hoka's brunch. That's it. I don't care. It's, it's, it's that good. As I said, I will leave all the places in the description. You can check their, uh, their social media accounts because 
yes, you're going to do the work, but if you want to debate me, debate me. If you have something good to say about Roca's brunch, leave it in the comment section or even something bad. You, I mean, you can leave everything. We'll just kind of pick and choose and decide for ourselves if we want to go back there. But if there was a place I w I'm taking somebody, it's for Roca's brunch. Yes, if you're a foodie, I'll take you to Roca's brunch. At number four. Uh, okay. At number four here, I am going to say uh, Bujumbura Palace. Bujumbura Palace, Bujumbura Palace, however you want to say it. Uh, why is it at number four? Because the view, the decor, the atmosphere, it's just, it's beautiful. It's clean, it's fresh, it's, it's, a little, it's modern. I love the, the art, the, um, the, the entire thought put in the place. It's beautiful. It's uh, at the crossroads of uh, Boulevard de Lupronat. And what is that road called? I don't remember, but right next to Novotel. It is really beautiful. It is really beautiful. Why is it only at number four? Because the food is meh, okay? It's, you can eat it. It's, it's okay. It's, there's nothing so wow about the food. It's, it's okay. That's all I can say. It's okay, you can eat it, but it's definitely worth mentioning here because of this atmosphere. The, it's very classy, it's very, I, I love the view. It's, it's giving, okay? It is giving. You can check for yourself, it is giving. Now we're getting at number three. At number, th okay, at number three, I'm going to say, um, at number three, I'm going to put Le Citar. Why? Because you know, you know exactly why. This was a hard choice to make because I feel like it did deserve number two but I'm going to put it at number three. Le Citar, it's very classy ambiance. <laughs> Not me acting. <laughs> very classy ambiance. It's, it's, it's giving, it's very clean, it's very beautiful. The lights are dim. Uh, the food is always, always nice. The chef is, and he and I love how they come. They explain to you what you're about to eat, how it was made, where it comes from. Sometimes, um, and there's always the the chef makes sure the menu is different. So if you go this week, you can definitely go next week. You can definitely go next week. You are going to have a completely new menu. Maybe not completely, but it's going to be different unless you request the exact same from i mean the chef will always listen he will be like okay you okay it was this from that day okay i will redo it the way you want it to be redone but it is worth it to try it, 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 you're always in for a treat that's one thing i love about lisita and it's such a classy place and it's it's definitely that place you would go with your boo thing, you know, or your girlfriend. Like it's definitely like a one-on-one. -on -one. I wouldn't, it's not giving group vibes. It can be your girl, your, 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 your bestie, it can be your mom, your dad, uh, anybody you wanna take on a date. That's the perfect place. Yes, it's, yeah. The only reason it's not coming at number two is because this is going to be number two. Number two is Belvedere. Here is why it comes above Lucitar. It comes above Lucitar first because they have a view. Yes, I'm big on the view because it's just, and it's outdoors. Um, you get this fresh air and since the temperatures are pretty nice usually here in Burundi so that's the plus that he has and Belvedere has been known for a decade or more to be doing really good food and up to today they have one of the best 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 chef so you know you know it's never a miss if you're going to 
to to Belvedere. It's not like you're 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 thinking, oh, maybe we're. I mean, maybe it's gonna be good, or you, I have you have to overthink of the dish you're gonna take. You know, it's going to be good. That's why I'm like Belvedere still comes a little bit higher than Lucita, and they've been in the game for a long time. So yes, Belvedere is going to be your go-to place for nice view, uh, nice view, really good food. They have really good drinks. And you also can go there as a group because it's not too dim to where you feel like it's too intimate. But yes, the only down, I mean, the downfall to this, downsize, downfall, I don't know. The only um, inconvenience, I would say, is sometimes it, get, it gets crowded. And yeah, that's the part that's much less fun. Okay, that's much less fun. That was the number two. I have to give, before giving you the number one, I will have to give uh, an honorable mention. I have to give an honorable mention to, hear me out. I have to give an honorable mention to Paparazzi. Paparazzi is a place where they have Indian food. So they used to have a view. They used to have a really nice place where you got you you get really a quite the view of the whole city, which is not the case anymore. That's why it's not gonna be on the it's not gonna be on the list because the place is not giving anymore, but the food is still really good. That's why it's definitely present in the honorable mention. It's really creamy rich indian food if you're up for that that's definitely the place to go now for number one <laughs> for number one that's a tough one i said if you're coming <laughs> if you're coming to uh burundi and you really want to you, you you're saving your little money to do one thing that is memorable and worth it um i would say go up country why am i saying number one is up country because okay i don't know if you can top <laughs> you can top the the experience because you're really into the nature the weather is definitely a little bit cooler because here in the, in Bujumbura it's much much hotter because we're right next to the lake of course you have to go to all the beaches the beaches are awesome really but if we have to go into like beach um recommendations that's a whole other video okay but one thing i would say that you absolutely have to do if you're coming here in Burundi whether it's for holidays whether it's your first time you're discovering the country you have to go up country yes I said I know it can be as fancy as you want there are fancy places there are less fancy places but that's why I put it in number one because if there's one thing that is memorable for you to do is come here and then go up country and and I don't think you can debate me on this there are so many there are, there are I could also do a, a, a video on upcountry places that, that I would recommend, but number one has to be upcountry. You can go either to like really fancy places like the Lan Hotel or, um, or you can go for something in the middle for like, um, diff there are so many different hotels now in Gitega. Uh, and also um, Gozi, I know has like really nice and fancy hotels. Or Rumonge also has so many, so many resorts. So there was just a long list of different places you can go in um, in I mean up country. And the reason why it's also on the list. Well, when I say it's a little bit pricey because, you know, you have to go, you have to, the, the whole logistics of going, it's a little bit on the pricier side. But 
it is to me one of the most worth it experience because now you just it's just you come you're out of all the noise of the city it's fresh it's i i can't i can't sell you enough a country it's it's that good it's that beautiful okay so if you think i forgot a place or you have a better recommendation i mean do you but you can always leave that in the comment section but yeah i am confident about my ranking that was all for me i'll see you in the next video